the weather in the Philippines. This is something serious that you should kind of learn before you even come to the Philippines. It will help you understand uh, the seasons. Uh, and I've done a lot of research on this, so I'm going to share with you this research. There are generally experiences three seasons in the Philippines. And I hope I don't botch up these names, but uh, one is called Taganit. It's hot, dry season. This season typically occurs from March to May. Then you have Tagulan, which is the rainy season, usually starts in June and lasts until November. And then you have the Taglameng, cool, dry weather, and that is from December to February. It's important to note that the Philippines is an archipelago. I hope I didn't butcher that one up. Archipelago. And weather conditions can vary across different regions. So let me give you the definition of an archipelago. An archipelago is geographically a term used to describe a large group or chain of, light, of islands that are close to each other. These islands may be part of the same geographical formation or they can be scattered across a body of water. Archipelagos can be found in oceans, seas, other large bodies of water. The Philippines, for example, is an archipelago in Southeast Asia, consisting of thousands of islands. Another well-known archipelago in, in, is Indonesia, which comprises over a whopping 17,000 islands. The term archipelago is often used to emphasize the close proximity and interconnection of the islands within that group. So that is the um, definition of archipelago. Enjoy this. Study it. At the end of the video, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to tell you the website that I use and try and help you with um, different areas uh, that might you might like better in the Philippines that you might want to focus in on. Enjoy, and I'll catch you on the back end. Thank you. When it comes to traveling and exploring the beautiful islands of the Philippines, understanding the local weather patterns is essential. The climate of the Philippines is tropical and maritime. It is characterized by relatively high temperature, high humidity, and abundant rainfall. It is similar in many respects to the climate of the countries of Central America. The Philippines is located in Southeast Asia and is known for its diverse climate zones. There are four major climate types in the country, Type A, Type B, Type C, and Type D. Each climate zone has distinct weather characteristics and patterns. Type A, Tropical Rainforest Climate. Type A climate zones are found in the eastern parts of Luzon, Mindanao, and some parts of Visayas. These areas experience high rainfall throughout the year, making them lush and rich in biodiversity. Type B. Tropical Monsoon Climate. Type B climate zones cover most of the country, including Manila and popular tourist destinations. These areas have distinct wet and dry seasons, with more pronounced rainfall during the wet months. Type C. Subtropical Climate. Type C climate zones are found in highland areas such as Baguio and Tagaytay. These areas have cooler temperatures due to the elevation, making them popular retreats from the heat. Type D. Dry Climate. Type D climate zones are found in the western parts of the country, particularly in Palawan and parts of Mindanao. These areas experience very little rainfall throughout the year and have a dry and arid landscape. The tropical monsoon climate is the most prevalent climate type in the Philippines. It is characterized by two distinct seasons, the dry season and the rainy season. 
The tropical monsoon climate is the most prevalent climate type in the Philippines. It is characterized by two distinct seasons, the dry season and the rainy season. Dry season, the best time to visit. The dry season in the Philippines typically begins in November and lasts until April. During this period, the weather is generally warm and sunny, making it an ideal time to explore the country. Popular tourist destinations such as Boracay, Palawan, and Cebu experience an influx of visitors during this time. Rainy Season. Prepare for showers. The rainy season in the Philippines starts in June and extends until October. This period is characterized by frequent rain showers and occasional thunderstorms. It is important to note that rainfall patterns can vary across different regions, with some areas experiencing heavier rainfall than others. Typhoons. Staying safe during storms. The Philippines is located along the Pacific Typhoon Belt, making it susceptible to typhoons. Typhoons are powerful tropical cyclones that can bring strong winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surges. It is crucial to stay informed about typhoon warnings and follow the instructions of local authorities during these times. Local weather forecast. Where to find reliable information. To stay updated on the weather conditions during your trip, it is essential to have access to reliable weather forecasts. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, PAGASA, is the government agency responsible for providing weather information. You can visit their website or listen to radio and television broadcasts for the latest updates. Weather-related considerations for driving in the Philippines. If you plan to rent a car and drive around the Philippines, there are a few weather-related considerations to keep in mind. During the rainy season, roads can be slippery, and visibility may be reduced. It is advisable to drive with caution, maintain a safe distance from other vehicles, and use headlights when necessary. In case of heavy rain or flooding, it is best to find alternative routes or postpone your travel until the weather improves. Packing tips for all seasons. Regardless of the time of year, there are essential items you should pack when visiting the Philippines. These include lightweight and breathable clothing, comfortable footwear, sunscreen, insect repellent, a hat or cap, and a waterproof jacket or umbrella. It is also a good idea to bring a power bank for your electronic devices, as power outages may occur during severe weather conditions. Popular destinations and their weather patterns. Different destinations in the Philippines may have distinct weather patterns. Here are some popular tourist spots and their typical weather conditions. Boracay. Known for its pristine white beaches, Boracay enjoys a tropical climate with a dry season from November to April and a rainy season from June to October. Palawan. Home to stunning landscapes and the renowned Puerto Princesa underground river, Palawan experiences a tropical climate with relatively even rainfall throughout the year. Cebu. With its vibrant city life and breathtaking beaches, Cebu has a similar climate to Boracay, with a dry season from November to April and a rainy season from June to October. Weather proofing your itinerary. To ensure a smooth and enjoyable trip, it is essential to factor in the weather when planning your itinerary. During the rainy season, consider indoor activities or destinations that are less affected by the weather. On the other hand, the dry season offers the perfect opportunity to explore outdoor attractions and engage in water activities. Embracing the rain. Activities for a wet day. While rainy days may alter your original plans, they present unique opportunities to experience the local culture and engage in indoor activities. You can visit museums, art galleries, or indulge in a culinary adventure by trying local delicacies in cozy cafes and restaurants. Sunshine Delights. Exploring under clear skies. When the sun is shining, take advantage of the beautiful weather to explore the stunning landscapes and pristine beaches that the Philippines has to offer. Whether it's snorkeling in crystal clear waters, hiking to breathtaking viewpoints, or simply relaxing on the beach, there are countless ways to enjoy the sunshine. Weather apps and gadgets. Stay informed on the go. In the digital age, staying informed about the weather is easier than ever. 
There are numerous weather apps and gadgets available that provide real-time updates and forecasts. Some popular apps include AccuWeather, The Weather Channel, and Weather Underground. Make sure to download a reliable weather app before your trip to stay prepared. Climate change and its impact on Philippine weather. Climate change and its impact on Philippine weather. Rising temperatures, changes in rainfall patterns, and more frequent extreme weather events are among the impacts observed. It is important to support sustainable practices and minimize our carbon footprint to mitigate the effects of climate change. The Philippines, being a tropical country, promises pleasant weather all year round. Depending on your seasonal preference for traveling, the following is a rough guide on when to best plan your trip. Don't get discouraged if you think that the trip will be plainly hot as you can seriously visit areas that are always cold, like Itagaytay, Sagata, Banawe, and Baguio. The reason why those remain cold throughout the period is that it has a unique elevation from the rest of the places. The average temperatures here can go as low as 6.3 degrees Celsius to 7.3 degrees Celsius. So, if you have packed winter clothes and want to take a run from the summer heat, you'll surely get to wear them all. If you still want to experience the summer from this place, remember to pack some really light and cottony shirts. As even the early parts of February can be so hot too. The difference between the mean annual temperature of the southernmost station in Zamboanga and that of the northernmost station in Lawag is insignificant. The Philippines is highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, including sea level rise. Increased frequency of extreme weather events, rising temperatures, and extreme rainfall. A rich yet increasingly depleted natural and marine resources base supports livelihoods through fisheries, agriculture, forestry, energy, mining, and tourism and provides critical ecosystem services such as shoreline protection, flood control oil stability, and habitats for biodiversity. In other words, there is essentially no difference in the mean annual temperature of places in Luzon, Visayas or Mindanao measured at or near sea level. It is advised to wear comfortable and loose clothing, as it is generally accepted in public. Sandals, rubber shoes, hats, shorts or skirts are a staple when going to the islands. But it is advisable to wear appropriate and decent clothing if one will visit offices, churches and fine dining areas. For males, wear long pants. Understanding Philippine weather patterns is crucial for a safe and enjoyable trip. By familiarizing yourself with the climate zones, knowing the difference between the dry and rainy seasons, and staying informed about typhoon warnings, you can make informed decisions during your journey. Remember to pack accordingly, plan your itinerary with weather considerations in mind, and embrace the beauty of the Philippines, regardless of the weather. I hope you uh, enjoyed that uh, short video on the weather, but here are some other hot topics I think you should know about. And I'm going to fin uh, finish up with some um, key information you should know. Finishing up on the typhoon. Uh, the typhoon season in the Philippines typically runs from June to November, coinciding with the southeast monsoon season. However, typhoons can occur outside this period. The frequency uh, Philippines experiences a relatively high frequency of typhoons. On average, about 20 typhoons in the Philippine Area Responsibility, otherwise known as the PAR, occur each year. 20. That's a lot, guys, between June and November. Some of these typhoons make landfall, bringing strong winds, heavy rainfall, and the risk of storm surges and flooding. Uh, typhoons can have significant impacts on the country, causing damage to infrastructure, agriculture, and communities, landslides, and flash floods are commonly in the mountainous areas, and coastal areas are vulnerable to storm surges. Now, typhoons have different categories. Typhoons are categorized based on the sustained wind speeds. The Philippine Astron Ast 
uh, atomic, <laughs> Ge geophysical, and astronomical services administration, the P A G A S A, uses the different naming of classification system compared to other countries. So, in other words, the Philippines, as soon as you hit their area responsibility, they go it alone and they have their own system. In the Philippines, typhoons are categorized as, categorized as tropical depressions, tropical storms, and then typhoons with different classifications based on wind speed. Now, how are you going to be prepared? You have to pay attention to the warnings. The Philippine government, through the PAGASA, issues typhoon warnings and advisories to help communities prepare for the impact of approaching storms. They do have evacuation plans, relief efforts, and other measures, and often implement to minimize the risk associated with typhoons. Uh, residents and authorities in the Philippines closely monitor weather updates, especially during the typhoon season. To stay informed and take necessary precautions, it's important to note that typhoon-related information, including naming and classifications, may change over time. So it's recommended that uh, you, you refer to official sources for the latest updates. So... Um, as far as the sources, weather sources, I'm going to give you the top six that came up on the internet. The Weather Channel, weather.com, AccuWeather, AccuWeather.com, BBC Weather, BBC.com backslash weather, the National Weather Service, weather.gov. Now that's more for the United States, but they do have stuff on on the world, international and Southeast Asia. Weather, other, weather Underground, wunderground.com. And last is Windy at windy.com. Now, of those six, I use windy.com. I can go to that website and the top hand, a top left hand side, I put in the city or any part of the Philippines. And it will tell me, uh, it'll draw a picture and scales many different systems that it, it will use to identify where this uh, typhoon is heading. So I use windy.com and I learned about windy.com from Rodney from Amazing Philippines. I'm sure you've heard of him. He has his own vlog site, Amazing Philippines. Um, he turned me on to this site, and it's never failed me yet. Uh, a, a quick um, saying about the temperatures, you know, low-lying areas uh, usually have a 77 to a 90-degree Fahrenheit temperature. The rainy season between June and November, uh, pretty close to the same. The cooler elevations in higher elevations, such as the mountainous areas of Luzon, temperatures can be cooler, especially during uh, the Tag La Main dry, cool, dry season from December to February. Average temperatures may range from 15 to 25 percent, uh, 25 degree Celsius or 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lot cooler than of the 90 degree temperatures. Uh, it's important to note that these are general averages and actually temperatures can vary. The Philippines is a, tip, a tropical country. So temperatures in the low line areas are generally warm and hot throughout the year. Additionally, humidity can play a significant role in how temperatures feel. With the heat index often making it feel warmer than the actual air temperatures. Coastal areas may experience slighter, milder temperatures compared to island areas. Always check uh, with your local weather forecast for specific and up-to-date information for the region you are planning to visit. 
So there you go, guys. It is pretty simple, but this is something that's very important. Uh, before I came out here, I was watching videos. Uh, I, I saw a video with Typhoon Odette. A friend of mine, uh, Gio, uh, from Gio in the Philippines, he was staying in Mactan, Newtown, and he had recorded the entire event. The damage that this typhoon created was unbelievable. Uh, and... Um, they can be dangerous. So pay attention, do your work, and stay on top of the weather. Again, I use windy.com. I don't get paid a nickel for telling you that. But of the ones I've seen and I've tried to use, uh, the one that Rodney from Amazing Philippines recommended works great. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be reminded of the next video. Till the next time, guys, be safe and talk to you later. Bye.